Welcome to my crafty corner. This is Sarah. All right, so I've got a new little project going. Um, so far, all I've got done is the covers and the spine part here. But we're going to go through. I'm going to show you how I done this, and then we're going to work on the pages. Stay tuned. So we've got some extra things that I didn't mention in the previous video of what we're gonna be using. Um, we're gonna be using the Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo for our, our for inking. We're gonna be using some uh, cotton uh, fabric like we did in the previous video. And I thought that would be really nice, so I bought some of that. We're gonna use some of that. Uh, white cardstock. This is 65 pound white cardstock from Hobby Lobby. And some coffee in a sprayer so that we can maybe do some little coffee stain and stuff so i think we are going to do it like we did in the previous one with the um what is that cording the elastic um this stuff right so you'll need we'll need some of that as well and i'll be using the white all right so let's just let me set this over here so i don't forget it whatever you want to call them. Oh, something else. I just, it's sitting over here and I just seen it. Buttons. We're also going to be using some buttons since the majority of the paper we're using is like a sewing notations type deal. So I got all kinds of these white. Some of these, some of these buttons are from Prima, from uh, da, 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 the My Sweet collection. And then um, some of them are just old buttons that I purchased uh, from Etsy in a little set, just a bag of vintage buttons or random buttons from Creative Cafe Girl. And I don't know if she still has those or what, but if I can find it, I'll link that in the description box below as well. So buttons also. All right, I, th I think that's all we're gonna be using. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna score in our binding to go in our album here. And I meant to tell you how big this is. So it's six and a half by eight and a quarter. And then the spawn piece here is about one and a half. And now I want, now one and a half is great if you're just gonna do two fins with, you know, a half an inch in between. But I kind of want to have three fins in there, so I'm going to modify a little bit um, on this piece here. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it down. I, um, I started a score already. Um, I did a little a trial piece to kind of um, just see. And I think I got it. Um, it's a little long because I didn't trim it down. I just cut it. But it's going to fit... I think just perfect because actually these flaps are going to fold down and then this is what's going to be stuck. So if you actually don't want to score this very last one until we get it stuck down in there and then we can kind of score it as we bend our things. So but if you're not using corrugated card or if you have pieces and you're going to be attaching them, attaching them together, then you would want your pieces to be your two, uh, your front and your back to be six and a half by six and a quarter, and then one and a half by eight. And a, did I say six and a quarter? I meant eight and a quarter by six and a quarter. Okay, so I think I just confused myself. So, <laughs> so <laughs> your covers, if you're doing them. You don't have a piece together like this, or if your piece is different, you would have to modify your measurements because they may not be the same as mine. The front and back cover, these two pieces, are six and a half by eight and a quarter. The spine is going to be one and a half by eight and a quarter. Okay, <laughs> so I think maybe that explains that. And then this piece that we do here, I'm gonna show you in. First, we're gonna go 
and we're going to cut it to six and a quarter by eight. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get mine trimmed out before we do any scoring. So let's go six and a quarter. by eight. Is that what I said? Yes, because it's eight and a quarter eight and a quarter, so I think that's right. Yeah, that gives us about an eighth of an inch from top to bottom. Oh actually you know what, though? I think, hang on, I have, so I have this one printed in, um, on cardstock, and I think I'm going to use this, and then, what did I do with, here it is, with our material here, which I know I'll have to cut down because clearly this is too much to try to work with at one time, but I'm just, I want to see. I can find just a single layer. Oh, well, okay. So I'm curious if because kind of like we did in that last one, you know how you can see the fabric. You can see the pattern underneath. I think that would be really pretty to see that underneath. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna have to cut some of this down and I will do that here in a minute. Because that's like two yards, that's a lot to have to try to deal with it one time and two I will have to like iron it out because it's got wrinkles and stuff in it and I don't like that so all right so I'm gonna use this you know I already cut this down and I already started scoring it so if um if you're gonna do yours on a pattern pattern paper you you might want to before you cut that down watch it through first because I you know forget and all kinds of stuff so all right, so we're gonna go six, six and a quarter, no, six, uh, yeah, six and a quarter. So there. Okay. And then eight by eight. And so six and a quarter by eight. And I will keep these pieces um, to use. Okay, so I'm just going to lay them over here. Alrighty. Ooh, it's going to get really dark in here all of a sudden. I'm, I'm going to put this to the side with, along with these two pieces here because we can still use those for tags. Okay. So I'm just going to lay them there. And go with this. Grab my, uh, I don't, what did I do with? It might be easier if I showed you on this white. So we'll do it again. That way I can just do it um, as one, one thing, okay? All right, so you're gonna score it at Seven eighths, okay. One and a half, two and one eighth, two and a half, three and one eighth, three and three fourths, or three quarters, whatever you want to call it. Four and one eighth. 
okay? Four and three quarters. And five and three eighths. So that's what it should look like. But these will be the measurements that you score at. So you're gonna cut your paper at six and a quarter by eight. You're gonna score at seven eighths, one and a half, two and one eighths, two and a half, three and one eighths, three and three fourths, four and one eighth, four and three fourths, and five and three eighths. Alrighty, so then that's got, and I'm just gonna put this one to the side because I can use it for another, um, for another album if I need to. So that's gonna be for your binding. All right, so I've got mine skewered, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this scoreboard to the side for now. Oop, shaking y'all over. Okay, just make sure that um, <clears throat> you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go in and fold on all of I wish I had longer fingers. I could do this a little better. I like to go in one one direction, really, because it seems like it just helps the way it's over there. Okay, so, all right, so, and these, Will be this will be your fan right the middle one will be a fan and then or a tab of however you want to call it it's hard not to call it what you've heard it called in other videos so it's your your page flap tab, there's what you're gonna be putting your pages on. Um, so yeah, so then this is how it's gonna fit in the book, right? So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna ink, uh, let me get my correct tool here. I'm gonna ink the edges and down on those things because I think I want those to be visible so that I'll know kind of what I'm doing. So, there that is all linked up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, our tape, our tape on there. So I'm gonna be using this quarter of an inch. Let me get, let me see what's left on this one. I don't even know how much that is. Where did it go? Let's go. Clip that off straight. Alright, so we're gonna be putting well, okay, never mind, I'm not. That's that's it. Let me get a new roll. So we're going to be going so okay so the middle of these here we don't want tape by those because we're going to be running our tape I mean we're going to be having our um, uh, elastic through there so we want to run our tape as close to this score line as possible without going over it so I'm just going to line this up. And 
And I'm going to do that on all three of these. All right, so then we've got our tape on those three there. And we need to run our elastic before we attach those together. So let's just grab it and pull it out. I don't why this black is on there. I don't know why I put that. I have no idea. If I put that on there, was it like that? I, I can't remember. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go like mm, two and a half lengths maybe. So we got one, two, two and a half. I think that's gonna be plenty. And I'm just gonna do three of those. And we're gonna do this part. This is just like, ooh, before we put these in there though, that just reminded me, I need to get that fabric out. And we need to do that as well because we want that on there first before. Where I'm thinking, is that gonna be really thick and not want to close, which I want. I think it's gonna add to because this is I mean it's just corrugated card it's pretty flimsy and looks pretty crooked at the moment so <coughs> excuse me so I think that's what we're gonna do next okay so let me get this put back up if I can So then we want to get our fabric on top of this. So let's see, fabric. Let me get this unfolded back to that end. And let me just cut off some pieces here. Um, let me do, let me do, let me just do a strip here that way. Then I know how wide I need it to be. All right, so where this is like been folded at, I'm just gonna cut that. All right, so we got a strip here, and I think I kinda got a little wonky there. Mm. Yeah, I think we're gonna use this one down here, so I'm just gonna unfold this again. And I'm actually gonna cut it because I'm wanting to tear, tear it pretty close. To this, um, to the sides here. Okay, it's easy. So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of room there, and I th or do I want to go? Let me go over a little bit because this is that like hemmed in side or whatever, and I don't want that on there. I want it to be kind of that'll still work. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut right there on that line, or as close to as I can, and I'm just gonna tear it. Okay. All right, so like that. 
And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. Just gonna cut right there where that's at. And then I'm just gonna tear it. Okay. And I don't know how easy these are gonna be to tear because they're pretty um pretty close to the ends, so we shall see. So let's just, yeah, enough to tear anyways, okay. Bingo. All right, so that should be good. And I'm gonna keep these. I'm not gonna throw this away because we can, we can do something with that, I'm sure. Have just little bits and pieces on something tied, that'd be cute, right? Okay. with the little thread pieces. Okay. So, tear those away. And we're going to take it and we're going to glue it down to this. on there and I think before we put our elastic pieces in there we're gonna let that kind of dry a little bit maybe or maybe it's good enough already Yeah, it's a little, it's got some bubbles in it, but that's okay. So I think we'll go ahead, I think it's dried enough, so I think we'll go ahead and put these in and then attach that down and have this ready to go. So I'm just going to put that in there. Something I forgot to do was notch these with my little, because like, you know how she did in that one, it makes it easier, and I don't know if it'll do it with the fabric, maybe it will. It makes it easier to um, have the, um, the cord run through and it doesn't Here, you know it doesn't cut through the paper so if you haven't put your fabric on there yet I would probably recommend doing this first All right, I just want to tie those tight enough that they're not coming apart, but loose enough that I can tighten them up when I get ready to do the thing. So, um, I also want to put tape on the very ends, and I'm going to do that before I attach this down. So, I want to run tape on the very edge of this, the cardstock, not the, um, not the fabric, but the cardstock. I have this, I think it's three quarters, three quarters, 0.75, yeah. And I could run it down on this and then just attach this to that. That might be what we do with that. 
just leave our like lay this and kind of mark it where we need it and then put that down and then that will have it completely stuck okay and then this will be the part that attaches out here on here okay and then we could if we had to we could run a piece of tape there as well all right so we'll do that if i'd have thought i could have just ran anyways all right so now we're gonna put these over on themselves like so so we're gonna take the backing off of this one and fold it over on itself like that okay and then we're gonna do the same with this one fold it over on itself like that making sure that that string's not caught under there or that um, binding strip and then the same with the last one. Oh, did I miss it? Oh, did I? No, okay, good. I'm sorry. I, I guess I could do it over here in front of the get it in the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I don't have to pull it to me because I was afraid I got that to, um, so we want to leave about an eighth of an inch. On each side and I can't really tell with the fabric if I got enough space for each of those. On each side, I think I got a little crooked. Okay, so I think that looks good to me. So I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna stick it under there, underneath that fabric. I'm just gonna trace. We go all the way to the edge. Um, I'm even gonna come out here to the edge, to where that, just to where that paper is. So then we know, oh, I didn't get that one, did I? All right, just so that we know exactly where we want to put our tape. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I hope it works on this um, card. So I'm just going to go up to the score line. I think I'm gonna stick down the center part first. That way I can kind of see maybe where I need to go. Okay. Oh no, this makes me nervous, it makes me nervous. Okay, so I'm just gonna Line it up. Line it up as best I can. And I'm gonna call that good and I'll stick it down because I don't know. Maybe it's not crooked. All right, and then that side as well. I don't know why I feel like there's more space between them two. Maybe it's just the way that one wants to lean. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the... Yeah, okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I can kind of see where this score line is. So, I'm going to kind of take my tool and I'm just going to kind of run it along down that. 
Same thing on this side. And I think I probably got more space on one side than I did the other. And that's okay. So we're just gonna run it down and I'm gonna kind of lift up. I'm gonna hold that because it is stuck there in that place. And I'm just gonna lift up. And then we can strip this piece and this back side of this one off. And we can attach it down. And yay! Okay, and do the same thing with this side over here. If I can get it. And just give that a good press. And there we go. Alright, so there is the binding, which probably took me for, for a while. Yeah, so <laughs> the binding. Alright, so we're going to end this video with that. And I probably got it a little closer here in one side than the other. And I probably we'll go back through and like uh, attach this down that way when we put our mats on there it's not going to be loose under there right but you can see that i think you can anyways you can see that pattern under there it's so pretty all right so yeah i like that I think that's going to work out great. All right, so we'll end this video here with this. And the next thing we'll be doing is the pages. Thanks for watching.